So hi to all the viewers. I am very proud to introduce before you Dr. Samar Bhatt, the proud achiever of All India ranked 255 in the recently conducted NEET SS 2024. So hearty congrats to you, Dr. Samad. So how do you feel? Thank you. Thank you, sir. I feel extremely, uh, I feel extremely happy, sir, uh, to get this rank. <laughs> and uh, so it I, was like, uh, like, I feel like unexpected, but I studied well, but uh, this mass is and rank is unexpected, sir. And really, I'm really happy with that. So uh, I hear that, Dr. Samarth, you have just passed out. Uh, you have just finished your MD medicine. So how easy or how challenging was it like to secure this good rank in the very first attempt and cracking the exam on the very first attempt itself? Uh, yes, sir. I just finished my MD medicine on January mid. And then uh, it's like four to three to four months I prepared for uh, NEET SS. Like during my MD medicine time also, during last six months, I used to prepare for uh, whole of the general medicine part. Anyway, we, I was preparing for that. And then after my finishing uh, MD medicine, I put a complete focus on preparing for NEET SS. Sir. Like uh, it might take like six to 10 months for proper focus to get into this. sir. Like last four months, I was dedicated to this. And uh, uh, I, I uh, tell everyone like, at least we should be focused for five to six months dedicated. Like uh, we can't get it in one or two months. Last minute, we can't uh, do this one. Like at least for six to eight months, we should be focused. So uh, like coming to the exam pattern for NEET SS this year, you know, the medicine paper has been reintroduced in the year 2022. And this is the third time we are having a medicine based yes. paper. And the students yes, keep on complaining about the changing pattern each time. So we ourselves our faculty are unsure of uh, what sort of questions are likely to come this year. So how did you like devise your preparation strategy? Were you concerned about what sort of questions it will be, whether it be one line of type or long clinical question, or did you anticipate and prepare for everything? Uh, sir, um, question pattern uh, keeps on changing. Like last minute also, they have changed for 50 plus 50 plus 50 questions, three sets. Uh, I think during my preparation, I mainly focused on uh, building up the concepts, sir. like uh, topic wise, concept wise, if we study, then if we do few of the MCQs related to that, uh, build builded concept then we will we will be able to answer most of the questions sir be it be a theoretical one or one liners or a conceptual one so most of the questions were concept conceptual one but still the one liners the memory based questions do matter in the exam uh, i think if we go step by step step by step first we should see the videos and then make some notes and then revise that notes at least two to three times initial reading might take few months to complete then the second reading will be a little fast third reading if you do three to four times the revision of the proper notes then we if we solve the mcqs daily like minimum like 20 to 30 questions at least daily and then if we give some grand test like two to three weeks once night or else like we uh 10 days once if we give the grand test and if we find, is there any mistakes or is there any building up the concept is we, if we are lagging in that, if we go with that, then I think it will be easy, sir. Like if we go step by step and at the end, if we do a little more grand test, not like last two to three days, we can avoid grand test, but still, uh, if we are good with the concepts or if we are good with the topic per se, like, however, do they twist the question because the questions were related to multiple topics. Like it's not like the single topic. It's like rheumatology, pulmonology, and other department mixed questions. Like we should be knowing all the subjects also to answer each of the questions. So I feel like building the concepts, then go with the questions and grand test, and then that would be an easy whether whatever might be the pattern of exam. And also like some people and this time paper was little difficult, but still if you're good at the concepts and if you solve the questions and from the doc tutorials. And I think it would be uh, easy to answer that question and uh, type like 50 plus 50 plus 50 pattern, which they had changed. And the uh, doc tutorials also gave the grand test in the end. Uh, they have also changed that pattern. So we, we got used to that pattern also. So it was a uh, pretty decent and I was able to answer multi, uh, most of the questions in the exam also, sir. 
So absolutely, absolutely. If you, uh, if I sum up whatever you have told in the last couple of minutes, I think it's best to do things right from your end and don't bother too much about the pattern of questions on where or where they are going to ask the questions from. You build the concepts, you make sure you are spending ample time on revision and very importantly, you keep on practicing questions. That is one very cardinal point Dr. Samarth has raised because many students just keep on reading and revising, but if they don't give enough time to practice questions as experience this time when you have a crunch time during the present situation the pressure situation where you have less questions to answer long like less time to answer long questions you may find it difficult if you hadn't practiced solving mcqs right so very important message dr summer so yes. uh, dr summer right uh, when uh, the new pattern was introduced in 2022 it was when we have started introducing the qrp videos and with each passing neat SS, we have been introducing new like additions to our doctorials program, like uh, the Harrison tables and charts. And then we have added the allied test and discussion videos. And for this year, we have included the Harrison mini test. So apart from the conventional long videos, uh, the question bank and grant test, how did you find these things useful in your preparation? Yes, sir. Definitely the Harrison based videos were amazing, sir, because the almost 90 plus uh, percent of the questions were from the Harrison's concepts or Harrison table only. But thing is, if we go on studying Harrison table by ourselves and it will be a very difficult one, especially there is a lot of content in that table if we go on studying by ourselves. But if if we see the lecture, if we see the lecture, then we will get to know like what are the particular points we should focus in that table. Like uh, if we ourselves read that table, it might take an, a day to finish a single table. But if we go by uh, uh, lecture wise, then it will be very easy. Like we would know that this is important. This was asked before. So we should be thorough in this. And so that uh, it helped me a lot. sir. And we also felt like uh, if we didn't read the Harrison completely by word and word. Then if you see the lectures, then we will feel like, OK, we have completed the Harrison part also. And we would be able to answer most of the questions. And it was like and mo most of the questions were also from that uh, lecture also, sir. And uh, uh, allied test and discussions and uh, question banks were also up updated very much, sir. Like uh, we would get to know like which if you want to do some topic in endocrine, some topic in nephro, and we can directly go to that topic and solve that questions. And and we can also bookmark that and we would revise in the end. So it was really, really helpful. And also each year, the doctor tutorials, which is up, uh, updated and recent videos are they have put put and all the videos were uh, very much helpful. If we since we can't revise the long videos again and again and if we see the short videos then it will be helpful for us also and in the last minute revision also it was really helpful in that aspect sir. so absolutely one important point that dr samarth has raised is many students would ask us like uh, sir we have already made a compilation of harrison uh, tables and charts do we still need to see the video but as, as dr samarth has pointed out you know, when you go through this year's exam questions itself, it is pretty obvious that it is set by someone uh, who is a super specialist and not from uh, like more, most likely the set of questions from rheumatology must have been set by a rheumatologist and endocrinologist, cardiologist like that. So there would pick and choose those areas and the tables which would be important in the clinical practice or in the day-to-day -day real life scenarios. So if you go through just the uh, like the data given in that or the information in the table, it would be too voluminous. But being a practitioner who is uh, like uh, practicing as a super specialist, they will get to know which are the important things that is relevant clinically. And we would give more stress to those points while discussing the videos on Harrison tables. And that that's the reason why this, even if you have gone through the Harrison tables, it is still worth a watch to have uh, gone through the Harrison tables and charts video. And coming to the uh, grand test, Dr. Samarth, did you attend all the grand test and uh, how was your performance and how was it more like a real life simulation for the upcoming NATSS exam? 
Yes, sir. I have initially uh, I was hesitant to attend the grand test. Sir. Like I feel like I didn't complete everything. So should I give the grand test or not? But uh, when I open the app and it will be showing like ha, upcoming grand test is in this day, this day. So I feel like let me give a grand test once and let me see where I am standing. What are the drawbacks? And because it's impossible to complete everything uh, from a person. So if we keep on giving grand test and we will be able to see where we are lacking per se. So I gave a grand test whenever uh, the grand test was updated in the uh, doc tutorials, like two to three weeks, I used to give a grand test. Most of the grand test I gave and later real life performance. And actually, uh, uh, frankly to say, it was like 300 or uh, 250 to 300 is was only my rank in uh, grand test also. So I was like, um, will I be able to get this good rank in uh, real original uh, neat assist also? I was, uh, I was not <laughs> imagine that, but still I got the same rank which I got in the last two to three grand test. Yeah, this happens to most of the students because uh, when you speak with the students and you go through the actual rankers in the exam, almost all of them uh, are following our platform also. So whatever rank you are scoring in the grand test, especially towards the grand test, towards the end, to, uh, nearing the exam, most of the students are likely to attend. So that's the reason probably why you had got almost similar because the, the level of competition is almost similar to what you are getting in the real exam as well. And uh, to cap it off, finally, Dr. Samar, were you a member of uh, the WhatsApp groups, the individual faculty, and we have a general common medicine WhatsApp group as well. and uh, how has it helped in uh, shaping your preparation and uh, helping in revising the questions? Yes, sir. It was definitely helpful because I used to uh, initially, whenever I asked out, uh, the faculties immediately used to respond for that uh, within a few minutes, actually. Uh, if I have any doubts, if I have any queries, where should I search for this topic? How should I go with this topic? They immediately replied to that. And if you have a personal doubt and we can also message the faculties directly uh, via WhatsApp. And that is very much helpful and it boosts up the confidence. And we feel like there is someone who can immediately respond to us. Like if you feel like if you message, if no one responds and we feel like oh, we are alone in the studies. But if the faculties replies early and if we can message the faculties personally, then we feel like we have someone to guide us each and every time. And if you have any doubts, there are a lot of people who can guide us and support us. Uh, in fact, the uh, INI or the, the particular uh, faculty group also helped me and in the general medicine part also, the group had helped me a lot. And also there will be a discussion going on, there will be a quiz going on and there will be an important topics discussion also going on. If someone else asks the question and the sir replies and we will also get to know like, okay, this also, the, the topic, this also is important. So I feel like that is very much uh, helpful and also boosting up the uh, the resident's confidence for uh, attending the exam. So it was really helpful, sir. And we can catch uh, talk with the faculties via Facebook or Instagram. And most easy will be the WhatsApp. Like uh, we can message the faculties personally. It was really helpful in that. So which specialty are you aspiring for, Dr. Samarth? Are you still going to attend the uh, INI because you already have a great rank in your kitty? Sir, uh, I am interested in cardiology, sir. Uh, I am thinking of taking up cardiology in this neat SS only. And anyway, I will be writing the INI SS. I uh, will be seeing uh, uh, which college I will, I will be getting. So most of, most probably I will be taking up in this SS only cardiology department. So I uh, had a great time with you, Dr. Samarth. So once again, big congrats. It itself is a huge achievement to like the only pass out from medicine a couple of months back and still get this stupendous rank in the very first attempt and a huge laurels to you, Dr. Samarth. And all the very best and thank you for the time also. Thank you, sir. I would like to thank uh, God and uh, my parents, guru and grandparents for their constant support and encouragement because uh, other than, uh, otherwise I couldn't have achieved this one. And I would like to thank my uh, post-graduation faculties also for their constant teaching and uh, I would like to thank all of them for their support and I would also like to thank my fiancé uh, who had supported and uh, uh, encouraged me uh, throughout the course and throughout my exam preparation time. So thank you sir, thank you very much. I would like to thank Dr. T uh, Dr. Tiller's 
whole team uh, and uh, this rank belongs to you and you had made uh, because of you only uh, i have got this rank thank you thank you very much thank you so much and congratulations once again dr summer thank you yes sir. thank you sir